Hey, what is going on, SMT Nation? It's your boy, the SMT. This video is an absolutely tremendous update to some new technologies. Well, I don't know if they're necessarily new. The principles, I think, were, uh, are carrying over from different technologies that have been utilized in the past, but the application is going to be new. So this company, Pivotal Comware, has created some game-changing technologies that are going to allow Millimeter Wave to really take off and become a staple of what Verizon Wireless and other wireless carriers can do to improve the capacity and the, you know, the, the actual throughput challenges that we have with wireless communications. It's going to be a game changer for home internet customers and for mobility. I'm so excited about this. Here we go with this update from Comware, uh, Pivotal Comware. All right, so this is obviously going to be a game-changing technology for Verizon and their 5G Ultra Wideband. Every carrier will be able to capitalize on this technology, but here is everything in a nutshell. There are two technologies that Pivotal Comware is going to really push for millimeter wave. The first one is the pivot. The second one is the echo. I looked up the definitions of these words. Pivot, the central point, pin, or shaft on which a mechanism turns or oscillates, and echo in this term of sound, be repeated or reverberate after the original sound is stopped. So the technology, the pivot, a very small single repeater, which can double the range of a millimeter wave cell site, and then the echo is basically a puck that a 5G network operator can place onto their windows of their customers to get indoor connectivity. What these technologies are going to do is it's going to reduce the millimeter wave deployment costs by upwards of 70% and shave over a year in time of development. The Pivot technology hardware takes like 20 minutes to install. The cost, just a few thousand dollars, and does not require fiber to be installed. No trucks, no troubles, no crews. Simple installations. Think about the city application here where it's very tough to work around high traffic scenarios and a lot of uh, you know infrastructure and things that could be in the way of, of getting the work done. Engineers and network operators were absolutely shocked when they learned about this technology. They asked questions about fiber. Where are you going to get the fiber from? Doesn't need fiber. Uh, you know, what about the wind load? You know, the issues with, you know, wind and weight, not a factor. The weight, it's like two pounds. It doesn't even require a power meter because it doesn't even consume enough power to be metered. So you're avoiding base station installations, obviously, because you don't need the power, you don't need the fiber, and obviously... You don't need permissions and permits to just slap this stuff onto street lights and street poles, uh, just like off of traffic lights, right? So in a place like the CLE and Chicago, this is less of an issue. But in a place like New York, where you're constantly trying to work with landlords and figure these things out and deal with it, it's become a problem. Uh, the pivotal holographic beam forming technology, which borrows from the techniques used for optical holography to prevent millimeter waves from getting scattered into space. The beam forming kits are really small, very light, and they don't consume much power. And they're a lot easier to deploy than say the beam forming techniques that we see with massive MIMO and phased arrays. It's obviously much cheaper and easier to install than the millimeter wave base stations that we see Verizon and other carriers deploy. This is also gonna help millimeter wave penetrate walls. Huge problem for Verizon's current ultra wide, ultra -wide band situation. The Echo basically goes on to a window and offers a 75 to 80 dB of gain that distributes within the home for up to 100 feet. Consumers won't be able to buy these Pivotal products or Echoes. Uh, they're basically going to be part of what Verizon does with their rollout and other you know, providers. Time frame, they're currently in engineering and testing. Consumers should have it live to them in 2021. You'll probably learn about it once you're able to connect indoors amongst other things. These technologies are absolutely incredible. They are going to address pretty much every pain point and issue associated with millimeter wave technology. It's going to get access into people's homes, which has been trouble to penetrate buildings and so on. It's obviously going to deal with the range issues that we see associated with millimeter wave. It's going to take care of the cost concerns. It's going to take care of the infrastructure concerns. Everything that's wrong with millimeter wave, these two technologies is going to address uh, this is absolutely incredible. I think this was the game changer that we needed uh, to really take care of capacity. You know, if you calculate the cost of millimeter wave, now these nodes are only costing Verizon like $17,000 to build and deploy. 
you take in all these cost savings and all these efficiency measures and i think we have a winner i think millimeter wave is going to really take off in 2021 and beyond so in a collection of technologies with low band mid band and millimeter wave and what each of them can do these technologies are going to transcend millimeter wave they're going to be a huge part of what the companies do now the technology will truly be effective and can reach scale let me what you let me know what you think in the comment section below about these technologies and what it's going to mean for you and others in large cities and areas where you know people could really use this capacity i'd love to hear what you have to say the voice of the people the smt nation let your voice be heard thank you for taking this opportunity to watch the smt youtube channel if you appreciated this video give it a like and a share to all your favorite social media platforms thank you in advance for that also check out some of the links in the description box we have the smt patreon page we also have the twitter handle at sneed tech and do check out the audio only podcast available on all the major podcast platforms and if you are new and have yet have not subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button and activate the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload from the smt We'll catch you on the next video. Peace.